What's going on everybody? My name's Chris, and welcome back to some more Let's Play Minecraft. It's been a little while since I've been a little bit of video, and that's because I've been really freaking lazy. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, between episodes, I've gotten torches, I made myself some armor. Surprisingly, this chain helm is uh, protection too, which is actually pretty fantastic. Uh, I've just logged on for the first time in a few days, so excuse me if I take a moment to figure out stuff and things. Oh, look at that, I'm learning! Um, yeah, so... Stuff and things have been happening for the past little while. And you may be wondering, what am I talking about? Well, the truth is, I have no idea what I'm talking about either. I could really learn to stack things. Hmm, there's not really much I actually need to get rid of, I guess. Um, psst. I want to explore that forest over there a little bit. I also went over uh, that. There's a freaking pff, jungle, not not jungle, uh, forest, snow forest, taiga. That's what it's called. The taiga biome, like literally right over this hill here. I think it's right over this hill, anyways. Uh, see it right there. I, so I went over there and chopped down some winter wood. Actually, I think it's more called like spruce wood or something. So that was that's where this all came from. All this freaking stuff. Um, do I have, okay, I do have an axe, though, perfect. Because I started to put some wood here, and then I was like, eh, that doesn't really look all that great. Doesn't look all that beautiful. You are so beautiful to me. Yeah. So, yeah, um, X, the, um, David, I think, I think his real name's David, is it not? He uploaded a Minecraft video for the first time in, like, forever. And, uh, it was an hour long. I watched the entire thing. And he pretty much just talked about Minecraft and, you know, all the pros and cons to it. Um, yeah, I'm looking to see, is that going to look good? Or perhaps I should go for something more like this. Nope, nope, that's not what I want. Uh, yeah, if anything, I'd probably want it on its side as well. So yeah, it's pretty nice seeing, like, that guy doesn't really do Minecraft anymore. He was the guy that pretty much um, brought Minecraft to the mainstream. He's pretty much like, it's actually kind of crazy to think that he is the sole responsible person. Actually, that's probably not entirely true, but he's like, he's like the main, like, protagonist of the entire Minecraft being brought to life kind of thing, which is actually really awesome to think about. So it was really nice to see him post a Minecraft video for the first time in a while. I mean, I've been subscribed to him for, like, forever. I think he was still doing his original Minecraft series. I think this definitely looks a lot better. I think he was still doing his original Minecraft series back when <coughs> I subscribed to him. <laughs> so, I mean, uh, I don't mean to gloat or anything, but yeah, it, it was it was really nice to see him post again for the first time in a little while. Or at least Minecraft, like I was trying to say. I don't really watch any of his stuff besides Minecraft, and since he hasn't really, he's pretty much been doing everything besides Minecraft, I haven't really watched his videos in a long time. Um, so yeah, it was pretty nice to see him again for the first time in a little while. I'm going to put some windows in here eventually. I just need to figure out where to put them. And I've already gone through an entire stack. Man, I got stacks on stacks! <sighs> okay, so, um, no real news as to this becoming a server, although I am kind of maybe thinking about creating an application to get on a server. Of course, there's no point in making the application until I actually figure out, like, you know, I need to figure out how I'm going to pay for it and all that, because I'm not even entirely sure, or, you know, what service would be the best to go off. If any of you guys have any idea, like, how that works, you should leave a comment down below or even inbox me, and then I'll freaking love you forever. And I'll give you a free spot on my server, maybe. <laughs> I shouldn't make promises. I don't know if I'm going to keep running. Hey, I have some jungle. Actually, I wonder. Ooh, I wonder, wonder what now. No. Actually, yeah, nah. That's, that looks okay, but at the same time. What color is actually... Freaking, hmm. I actually might have looked a bit cooler, but oh well. We'll keep it as um, spruce wood for now. Oh no, I can't get up. Oh wait, I'll just axe it to death. <laughs> I'll just, yeah. So, I went to the bar for, well, I don't want to say the first time, but I've gone to the bar a few times. However, my friends, for some reason, always want to go to, like, uh, an older bar. It was, like, mostly, we're always the youngest people there. There's normally people there that are, like, we're pretty much the youngest by like a good five, six years, always. 
And so we finally went to a bar that uh, is more famous for having people our age, I guess. And <laughs> to say I got a bit tipsy would be putting it lightly. Um, I got kicked out of the bar. <laughs> for fighting somebody! Okay, no, I, I, I wasn't fighting anybody. But what actually happened was I was having, I had a bit too much to drink. And when I say that, I had literally half a bottle of rum. I had two shots at the bar. I had a Ryan Coke. And I also had, uh, I think it was like two beers. So that is a lot. Way too much. You should never drink that much, kids. <laughs> and yeah, uh, I didn't I had, didn't puke or anything. But how I actually got kicked out was it, was, it was pretty stupid. Like, as soon as I did what I did, I was like, why, did, why would I do that? Uh, I threw a beer bottle. We were outside on the porch. And I was like, I was finished. I was like, I'm done! And I threw it. And well... I immediately felt myself being pushed, and I looked down to see the smallest bounce in the world. Like I'm a small guy. I'm like five foot seven, five foot six. Uh, I want to say five foot seven actually, just because that makes me sound taller <laughs> than five foot six. <laughs> but yeah, so I got, I got, felt myself being pushed. I looked down, and then I said something. I don't remember. It's probably something along the lines of, "Oops, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to throw that." And then I, d I definitely remember her saying, "Cause yeah, it was a female bouncer." So it was the tiniest, not only the tiniest bouncer in the world, but it was a tiny female bouncer. So I was like, okay. And then she was essentially like, doesn't matter, he threw a bottle. And then I got kicked out. <laughs> so that was the thing. And of course, as soon as I started walking back to my house, which thankfully I live very close. I live, I live like, it's a 20 minute walk at the very longest from that bar. Um, I, I, I immediately said to myself, well, that was definitely the stupidest thing I've ever done, and so it was. I feel like I want to do something different for this section. What that is, I'm not sure. We can make some stairs, we can make some half slabs, we can experiment. That's what Minecraft's all about, isn't it? Yeah! So, uh, even as I was like, um, because I actually promised my friends a place to stay, and it was like only, uh, it's probably close to 12 at this point, actually. Actually, we should put that there. And maybe like that. Yeah! Yeah, so it was close to like... Did I lose my axe? Oh, no, there it is. Uh, it was probably close to like 1 or 2. I thought I, It wasn't 2. It was probably just after 1 a.m. when I got kicked out. And then, my uh, since I promised my friends a place to stay, I knew if I did walk home, I would immediately go to bed. So I definitely wanted to refrain from that. So what I ended up doing was going to a bus stop. And the very last bus that was coming for the night actually came. And then they stopped there for a second. They gave me a look. And I pretty much I didn't want to get on the bus since the bus wasn't going the way I wanted it to go. Actually, it was. But I would have, I would have only gone it for a little bit. That doesn't look too bad, right? I think that looks pretty good. Yeah, look at me and my amazing building skills. And as I was sitting, waiting at the bus stop, it was kind of weird. I had my legs up on the bench with me. I had them crossed. And all of a sudden, I hear <clears throat> a voice uh, come from a van. Actually, a van stopped right beside, my, beside me. And they're like, hey, do you want to ride? I look up. The biggest, most terrifying... Um, <laughs> is it racist to say black dude? But yeah, it was the biggest, most terrifying black guy in the world. He was like, you want to ride? I was like, no. Thanks anyways. I mean, it's very nice. But, you know, accepting rides from strangers while you're drunk. Um, probably not the best idea in the world. I would uh, not suggest doing it. <laughs> and so, uh, yeah, I said no to it. And um, fast forward a day later. I had a few friends from work that are like, what were you doing Friday? I was like, oh, I went to the bar and then I got kicked out. And then, you know, I explained that whole story to them. They're like, oh, did someone see, or did someone ask you for, or if you want to ride? I was like, yeah, why? And they're like, that was us. And like, I don't know why, but like, these these guys weren't black. <laughs> so I guess I had like a black friend or something driving. And it was this big red van. So I was like, um, I, I'm sorry, thanks for the ride, but no thanks. <laughs> So, um, I kind of, at the same time, like, I could have gotten a ride, but it would have been p kind of pointless, like I said, because since I would have went home, I would have fallen asleep immediately, and my friends would have had a place to stay, and I'm the best, I'm the bestest of all best friends in the world, so, look at that pig running around circles over there. Pig running around circles, pig is running around in circles, ba na 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 
And so, um, of course, my friends actually, they didn't get to my house till like a quarter to four. So I, I got kicked out around one, I believe. I didn't get to go to sleep. I didn't. I was pretty much sitting at my at a bus stop for like an hour, maybe an hour and a half. And then, um, like later on, they texted me saying, "Hey, where are you?" And I told them where I was. And they're like, "Okay, we're going to your house right now." I'm like, "Awesome!" And this is around 2 a.m. So I was like, "Okay, cool." So I went. So I started walking to my house. Of course, I was still super drunk. So I was like, um, I'd walk up. There, uh, between every house on the street I was walking, there was a tree. I'd walk up, and in between trees, I would literally walk to the tree, and then I would lean my head against it and wait for about for a few seconds, which I'm kind of glad. Like, Come to think of it, my friends remind me later that I guess I could get charged for public intoxication, maybe? Is that true? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how the law works, because, I mean, you're walking home, so it's not like you're not being safe or whatever, right? Eh, I don't know. And so... Yeah, I was pretty much walking and then holding on, holding myself to the trees, and then I finally got home. They weren't there, so I ended up sitting on my doorstep waiting for them. And they didn't get there until like a quarter to four, so I was like, oh, what the heck, man? Where were you guys? Apparently, they got really hungry, so they decided to order pizza. I was like, oh, thanks! And they didn't even bring me any pizza, so it's like, oh, thanks, assholes! <laughs> So of course I wasn't actually like offended by that. I mean I wish they would have brought me pizza, but it wasn't it was no like big deal, I guess. What do we do about this? I don't really think about that. I I like this though, this looks okay. I mean I don't know how I feel about that actually. I feel like the support should actually be Do I have any dirt on me? No I do not. So yeah, then we all went down to my basement, we fell asleep. And the thing was, I didn't realize it was so late. I thought it was like maybe 2.30 at the latest. I'm like, were you really outside that long? I was like, yeah, I was only outside for like an hour or so. I was like, dude, you're outside. We didn't get to your house till 4. I was like, what? Really? And of course, they did apologize later because they realized they were being stupid penis heads. <laughs> So yeah, that was my drunken story, and that was definitely like I no I want I want to say I'm never gonna get that drunk again, but that's probably not true. I see you watching me. Oh, I was like, what is this? Oh, there's my bed! Yay! <laughs> I was wondering why there was a hole there. Okay, well now it's morning and it's all beautiful times, and I really need to move my bed. I didn't want to put my bed up there until um, I had my house actually built, just in case, you know creeper came over and exploded my bed which would it, it would happen trust oh god holy crap he sent me straight up oh i'm gonna add armor on that's that took off half my health i feel like the creepers got buffed again or something holy like buffy the vam vampire slayer buffed oh i'm so buff yeah so uh what else i want there was another thing i wanted to explain of course, actually, the people I did, I do, um, I did go to the bar with. It bugs me that that's not filled. <laughs> uh, actually, one of them didn't drink. One of them doesn't drink, and I didn't know this prior. And so, of course, she's never drinking in her life. So I was like, okay. Uh, and I definitely look like a dumbass because you know, he, when he look, when he when he feels stupid around drunk people, it's not that big of a deal. But when he when he like hang around people that aren't drunk, I, at least I feel a lot more stupid. Because I feel like even though they know you're drunk, but at the same time, it's a lot more embarrassing, I guess. At least to me. Um, but I'm a, I'm a sloppy drunk. Like, apparently, I was a big mess. And these, the girls we actually went with, um, they were... Oh, how should I do this, actually? Hmm, how should I do this? Because... Yeah, the, girl, uh, the girls we actually went with, I work with. Okay, that is what I want. How's that look? I need a shovel. Do I have a shovel? No, I do not. But we can fix that right this instant. And the girls I go with, I work with. And so they, um... I have worked the, not the next day, but the day after. Of course, I never heard the end of it at work. Like, I go, hey, Chris, so I heard you got a little drunk. And I was like, yes, yes, I did. <laughs> I mean, I'm very, like, people seem to get embarrassed about very little, or little things like that. For me, I was like... I, I wear my scars with pride because, <laughs> I mean, that, that's, that's like, you know, your first bar story. It's like, I got my first story. I feel like 
dude boulder fist right now. I could tell a story. And this is actually the first time I'm actually telling a story on my um, Minecraft Let's Play. And it's actually it's pretty fun. It's pretty fun to tell stories. I just wish I was better at it. Because most of the time I just get sidetracked by other things. But I'm actually trying my hardest right now to just, you know, just talk about story stuff. And not worry too much about it. <laughs> so this is actually being recorded and uploaded. Um, it's 4. Holy crap, it's 4 p.m. right now. I gotta end the, off this episode soon. Because, yeah, it's, it's, I'm uploading this, like, right after I record it. Um, I promise it's a scary Sunday today. I'm sorry. I wish I could let it happen. However, I've been really lazy lately. I've been super lazy. Like, this last Super Mario Galaxy episode you guys saw, I didn't even review the footage. I looked over, I looked over, because normally if I'm cutting stuff out, I'll leave the, I'll leave the footage, or, I'll, like, I won't talk over it, so I'll be able to see, like, the lines. There's a zombie. Where zombie? Are you in my house? Get out of my house! I didn't even hit. Oh, I did hit him. I guess. I didn't hear the hit splat. Um. Yeah. Well, see, see, this is what always happens. I'll try to explain something, and then something will happen, and my AD will be like, "What? What's going on? What's going on?" And then stuff will happen. Mm. I wish I could be more. Oh no. Yeah, that is. No, actually, I wish I could be like one more block together, so we, that wasn't a thing right there. The only way to really fix that though is if I took out that block and I put like a spruce wood block there, which I'm not gonna do. Um, question is, what do I? Oh, uh, well, actually, there's something I can do there, and that is not a pressure plate, but a jungle slab. All right, this house is gonna look amazing. This house is gonna, if I can manage to get up to it. Okay, now put some dirt over here. Put some dirt over here. Okay, now the well, question is, what do I do about that? So I, mean, I can put a glass pane there, right? I definitely could do that. Well, how would this look? It looks kind of cool. I mean, I wish there, there wasn't like... Well, that, nah, that, that's pretty good, actually. I also can put another one there. Would that look any better? Yeah. Nope. Nope. Mm -hmm. Nope, not what I wanted. Nope, also not what I wanted. Alright, give me those slabs. Well, the thing I was trying to explain at the beginning of the episode was... Um, I'm having a... I, I want to do an application to maybe get on my server or something. And see how that goes. Oh, you can't... Why, why can't I place a half slab there? I cannot place a half slab there. What is this? What is this? Is it due to the fact that... There's a thing here? Like, do I, does it have to be on top of a block? I can't do it! Would it be because it'd be connecting to a different colored half slab? Dear Bone, fix your game! Jeez! Okay, maybe not. That would, that would make sense if Dinnerbone watched my videos, which he did not. However, that's what Vintage Beef always seems to scream when something doesn't go his way, so I'm also going to do that. Also, why is there not different, different colored doors yet? Because that should definitely be a thing. It's like, come on, man. That should most certainly be a thing and a half. All right, let's place her. <gasps> Wait a minute. Ah, There's three. Oh, crap. That sucks. Hmm. Well, I guess we're just having one door. I kind of want to have a double door, but... I like a Dumbledore. Uh, see? Like I said, this always happens to me. I'm trying to explain something, and I get sidetracked. Okay, so application for my server. Should that happen? I wish I really. I'm still really hoping it uh, that does happen. And what I do want to do is find other let's players, pretty much, like with a similar audience to me. And then you can be like, "Hey, man, what's up? You make let's plays too? No way. We should totes but goats collaborate in the sense that you go on my server and then stuff." happens yeah okay that looks a bit silly considering you can't make different colored pressure plates right so yeah my whole idea was to go on the uh, uh, minecraft forums and then see like if there's any interest in other people joining joining a server which I have no idea is there like a general interest in that people joining a server for the um, for the fact of like collaborating I guess kind of thing I don't know. I haven't posted a forum yet. I, I want to do that eventually, though. Anyways, this is looking alright, I guess. I mean, that looks a bit silly. Sh I should actually probably change that, shouldn't I? I mean, that's more inside than anything. Whoa, break the door! Yes! Mm, should we have that? That could be like our doormat. <gasps> we do have... Actually, no. Oh, 
I don't know if I... I don't, definitely don't like that. I'm going to change that right now. And, pff, so ugly. Ew. Gross. Ew. Get out of here. Mmm. Yeah, girl. Yeah. Um, yeah, so I'd really love to have, like, other Let's Players on this server. Because that'd be fantastic collaboration and stuff. And so, um... Oh, I can fix that, can I? Well, that sucks. What are we going to do about that? Hmm. What am I going to do about that, actually? I don't know. I'm trying to reach that block, but it's not reaching! Ah, crap. Hmm. 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 Unless I want to be all uneven and be like... I don't even have any of that wood, do I? Nope, I do not. However, I do have it right here, the oak wood, unless I just want to be all weird. And Okay, that's not going to work anyways. I just put it right. Yeah, yeah there we go. And then I'll just probably just gonna look all weird now, isn't it? Where is my shovel? I should really did I put yeah, I put the shovel back in the chest like a stupid. Come on. Break it. Break it real good. Ba -ba -da -ba -ba. That looks disproper Well then again, you can't see it anywhere else in this house, so you wouldn't really ever know. Actually I kinda like that. That doesn't look too bad. Cause I mean it's not like you have any example of these support beams inside the house since they're covered up by the walls, which I actually did not expect. I didn't take that consideration. Kinda takes away well, whatever. Anyways, I guess I'll call an episode there. Thanks a lot for watching, guys! Imagine get this house design kind of looking alright. Where'd my door go? There it is. And if you enjoy it, if you feel leave a like, subscribe if you haven't already. The question is actually, would that look better inside or outside? I feel like there's other stuff I wanted to explain. There's definitely, I'm guarantee, like, 20 minutes later, I'm going to be like, oh yeah, I definitely want to talk about that. See? That looks kind of better, actually, doesn't it? I like how it's kind of inwards and such. Ow! Oh yeah, the pressure plate's not, wait, or it should, right? Okay, yeah, the pressure plate works fine. The pressure plate works fine. Yeah, if you enjoy please feel free to leave a like, subscribe if you're not already. My name's Chris, and I'll see you guys next episode. Actually, before we end off this episode, <laughs> we gotta do something. Something very special. And I was gonna be ultra safe here and not even break this bed just in case something like creeper fell on my head and exploded me to death. But you know what? It's pretty much nighttime right now. So nothing's gonna happen to me. I'm pretty much invincible. I am unbreakable. I am the Iron Man. I am Iron Man running over fat kids with my van. I do want to have a second floor in this house. However, this is probably how big the roof's going to be here. Like, I'm not going to, I'm probably going to build my second floor literally on top of the birch wood. That's where it's going to start. So I always feel claustrophobic. I always uh, build big in Minecraft, but I also always feel really claustrophobic still. No matter how big, I'm like, okay, I'm going to actually think about how big this house is going to be, and it's not going to feel claustrophobic. And well, it always seems to happen. <clears throat> of course, I'm obviously not the best builder in the world, and when I say that, it's like, holy crap, look at this ugly mess. Gross. You call this a house? Blech. It's so ugly, man. Blech. I'm actually drinking Coke right now, and I actually did mix a drink when I did go drinking on Friday. And Coke, I don't like it anymore. <laughs> The same with Pepsi. I had to drink a Pepsi at work, and I was like, "Oh, why does this taste so bad?" And then I realized it tastes like alcohol because I'm used to having it with alcohol now, which is weird because I only had it once with alcohol. But anyways, as I'm saying for the third time, I don't know if I really like this or not, though. That looks too open to me, especially that. I wish I could put like a half slab there or something. If you're enjoying this video, leave a like, subscribe if you already. My name's Chris, and I will stop talking now. So until next time, 360. Chest jump spin. Woo! I'll see you guys later. Peace!